Good morning, everyone. This is Patty Henry, your Chambers County District Clerk, here this morning to give you a short tutorial on a new feature that we're offering in our online case management system that we call Portal. The new feature is called Hearing Searches. Hearing Searches is a way for you to search the, the judge's court calendars. And for attorney vernacular, we call the judge's court calendars dockets. On the dockets, the judges will set hearings for any civil or criminal cases. Uh, usually the attorney or the uh, party to the case will call the court coordinator and ask for these settings. So this function allows you to see that information on our online system. We're going to get straight to it. If you've never used Portal before, you need to watch our video, How to Use Portal. But for now, we're just going to go straight into searching for hearing searches. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Chambers County website. You're going to search departments for district clerk. And as you can see, here are instructions for virtual pleas and paperwork requirements. That's for our attorneys. You go down a little bit, there's a record searches tab and there's also search and pay cases on Odyssey Portal. We're going to click on record searches. Once this video is finished, we're going to post this video right here on this page. For now, we're just going to go straight into Chambers County Portal. And I have to sign in. I have a sign in as a regular registered user. So let me get that set up. password and we're in. As you can see you can make a payment, you can do a smart search which is just searching for a court record or you can search hearings. So let's click on that. There are a couple of different locations you need to choose the correct location. If we're going to go straight to district courts because that's what we deal with. We're going to select the hearing type, which we have AG, civil, CPS, and criminal dockets. We're going to go straight to civil and family dockets. And the first thing we're going to search for is a specific case number. So if you already know your case number, you just type it in the system. Then you want to choose your date range. If you're not sure, when your hearing is going to be, just broaden the search and it will grab everything within these dates. And you click Submit. As you see, it will come up with hearing searches for case number between these date, these date ranges. You can click on the case number to go deeper into the case. It's going to give you the case style, the case type, the date and time of the hearing, the hearing type, the judge that will be hearing it, and what courtroom you need to report to. And as you can see, this case has several settings, one for July 6th, July 17th, and July 27th. Again, click on the case number, and it will take you and give you details in the case. If you scroll down to events and hearings, You will be able to view the documents. You click on that and you can view the documents for free and it goes through the entire case. This is the way you can track your case. You can go back to hearing searches if you want to look at a different setting or you can click on search hearings and start over. It's pretty simple. Right now we're going to search for by attorney name. As you can see, you can search by your party name. If you're a party to the case, you can search by attorney name. We're going to search an attorney. This is a fantastic function for attorneys because they'll, they can see, they can double check their calendar, set their calendar based on these settings. I'm going to leave the same search parameters. This particular attorney is on the same case, so we're going to hit submit. 
and there you go. It's going to pull up everything between May 6th and July 31st, and it is th these three cases. As you can see, if there's more than one page of cases, it will prompt you for that. And again, you can do the same click by case number. Now, Portal is set up, it's connected with our case management system and it's real time. What that means is if someone posts a document or an order and attaches it to the case in our case management system, it shows up in Portal within about a minute. So when a court coordinator sets a hearing, it will show up on Portal within about a minute. If you do not see your case setting or if you made a phone call to the court coordinator and it hasn't shown up in a couple of minutes or five minutes, just give them a call or communicate with them. If you have any questions about the system or how it works or you're, you don't feel like your access is correct, you can contact the district clerk's office at districtclerk at chamberstx.org. You can call us or you can come in and visit us and, and we'll help you get you set up. Chambers County is happy to offer this service to our constituents. We feel that it's a very valuable tool. It saves you a lot of phone calls and a lot of travel time. And we are happy for you to use the system and look forward to doing business with you in the future. Have a fantastic day.